welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have a Disney Christmas gift guide. I thought I'd change up the location today and sit with my Disney tree in the kitchen to film this video. As with the Harry Potter Christmas gift guide from last week, all of the products that I'm showing today are mostly useful gifts. So the first gift is what I'm wearing today and this is a Christmas jumper and it's from Magical Day Apparel and this jumper cost $26.99 and a little bit of postage so it basically came to 30, just over £30 and Christmas jumpers can be expensive so I do feel like it's a good gift to buy. I love this one, it has a Christmas wreath on the front. Happy holidays which is really cool love that next along the apparel route is a pair or pairs of socks and I just love these ones these were actually found in the children's department in Primark and they are Toy Story socks you get forky a woody and then some patterned ones there and those are really good for £2.30, a super good buy. Next, I don't think you can go far wrong with gifting somebody a notepad. And this one is a very special version of a notepad. It's from uh, Shop Disney and it's the Sleeping Beauty replica book from the movies. Lovely gold tassel. And they are literally stunning books to behold so I actually would like to just display this piece um, but obviously it can be used as well love the initials there for Sleeping Beauty and then this lovely picture of Sleeping Beauty herself you also get in the beginning the start of the pictures that are shown in the movies from the book and you also get the end page as well and these are £25 from Shop Disney I actually have five of these books versions so far this is the Cinderella one and again just beautiful so yeah if you're gonna get a notepad <laughs> Why not get a super special version? Next is a nice little cheaper item and it's this bookmark from Enchanted Lily. And this actually cost me £3.50, including the postage and packaging. And it's just plain on the back. It's just a little cardboard one, um, but it's with Carl and Ellie from Up. And it's just super cute. Just love the little design. Okay, apologies if you can hear the hailstones that is happening outside at the moment, but let's continue. Next item is CDs. And the reason I'm including CDs <laughs> is because I love the artwork that you get on the CDs, um, but I love listening to the full albums with the instrumental music. Um, because it takes me straight back to the parks. I literally feel like when I'm listening to it I am inside the parks in the queue lines walking around in the shops that kind of feeling So I love the CDs for these reasons again You can pick these up second hand from anywhere from two pounds or brand new albums for around about 10 to 15 pounds depending on which one But yeah, I think these are great ideas just to take one in the car or a couple really good gifts. This next item is not particularly useful but it's certainly fun and it is some figures and they're toy figures but this is the Wreck-It Ralph one and they also had the Fix-It Felix version as well and these were from Home Bargains and they were £1.99 each and I mean this is really substantial this Wreck-It Ralph toy and I just think they're super cute as decoration. Home Bargains is the one of the best places to try and pick up these kinds of items or toys love these for the price you can't go wrong perfect gifts now these next these next two items may be considered for children but i do know that i enjoy them and there are many other adults out there that do as well 
and the first one is a Disney colouring book and this one is of from Onward and you can see the price that I got that for £1.50 and it's just really fun I love the pictures and it's a super cheap gift and the other one is the sticker books and again this one's from Onward and it costs just £2 these were from a shop called The Works, just, I mean, that's one giant sticker there. And then you get loads of these, obviously, and then there's also activities in there as well. Just really, really cheap gifts that I would appreciate, and I think a lot of other people would too. Super good value. Check The Works out. Brilliant shop. Next item is this Funko Pop Remix Alien Zerg Keyring and this was £4.50 and I actually got this one in Asda but these are such a cute little gift and I'm a major fan of the um, remix range that's been going on lately but yeah love that super cute little gift. Next is this Disney pin and I've chosen this Buzz Lightyear Galactic Hero. Just love the graphics on this pin, super cute. This one's actually from the Shanghai Disney Resort. I bought this on eBay and I think I paid about £13 for it in total. Next up is a Disney card holder, wallet or purse. This specific one is a Loungefly Cinderella version and it's got the lovely Cinderella print going on in there and then you've got um, Jacques and Gus Gus poking out from this one um, but these are just really cute fun little item to have in your bag on a daily basis but yeah this one is stunning um, I actually bought this one on eBay for I think £17 card holders purses uh, wallets can be found all over the place for multiple prices, depending on your price point. So really good gift idea. Another really good cute gift idea is a Disney magazine that comes with free gifts. I've gone for this Onward one, I'm a big Onward fan, and you can see you get a badge, a set of quest cards, a notebook, and a pen there, and obviously you get the activity book with stickers, posters, all kinds of fun things that could be good for scrapbooking. And this costs £4.99 and you generally find these in newsagents, supermarkets, pretty much all over the place. Just for the, for the gifts alone, you know, I probably would have paid more in total for everything. So I just think this is really good gifts. Sometimes you can get some amazing free gifts with these magazines so keep an eye out in your magazine aisles but I think this is a really good gift. You're getting a lot for your money. Next idea is for a Funko Pop. Now this one isn't really a useful gift but um, you know sometimes you do just need some decoration pieces and I've gone for the Alien Dressed as Russell version from the Alien Remix range. Um, and these are £10 on average, a little bit below, a little bit above, sometimes depending. Um, but yeah, super cute little decoration piece. Okay, next up is this little trinket dish from Shop Disney. And this is absolutely stunning. It's got Jacques and Gus Gus and you can literally hang little necklaces, bracelets, rings, earrings, whatever you want in this. Um, and this one was £15 from Shop Disney, but it is just unbelievable the detail in this. Stunning. If you have a Cinderella fan to buy for, you cannot go wrong with this if they don't already have it. Unbelievable value. £15 for this is just crazy in my opinion. So yeah beautiful gift. Okay, next up is a book idea 
and there are many books you can buy Disney fan there are so many out there uh, some of my favorites though are the art of books and I have two here to show you so I have a Moana and a Coco and these books generally range from sort of £17 upwards to £25, £30, depending on how old they are, rarity. And you can generally buy these on Amazon. But these are just beautiful books. All about the movie, all about the artwork and how they came up with everything just gorgeous 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 books these are kind of coffee table sized hardback books but just beautiful yeah so love those next up is a stationary set now this one is just on another level this is from the Disney shop and it's the um, Disney's Fantasia range which I love the Fantasia look Fantasia Mickey Sorcerer Mickey is my favorite Mickey of all um, but this book is just like this box that looks like a book is beautiful and um, this cost, this was £24. So my inside packaging didn't quite um, come as I would like. But look at that inside of that. Beautiful. So this is how it should come in the box. But mine fell through. But this is how the inside looks. It's just beautiful as a storage box to use. Once you take these items out, you're getting these two beautiful pens. It's got Walt Disney written down there. And you've got this one. Just stunning. And then you get two sets of the postcards. And this is how they look on the back. But they're just lovely pieces of artwork. As well so these can be framed just gorgeous next up is something I bought from a company called Triton's Treasures and it was a lucky dip bag for £10 and it's jewellery and I think I paid about £3 for the postage as well so £13 in total I got two little bracelets so this is very much like an Alex and Arnie kind of style bracelet and it says here for the snacks and then it's got Doll Whip, the Mickey Pretzel, the Mickey Premium Ice Cream Bar and the Waffles, Mickey Waffles and this is in silver. Just lovely little bangle. And the other one that I received is this little gold beaded please return to Walt Disney World really cute as well I'm not saying you have to buy this specific jewelry but there's loads of jewelry out there that would make good gifts if you're going to buy a more expensive gift then an idea you could do is a lounge fly Disney backpack um, or a lounge fly bag. This is my Cruella de Vil villain from 101 Dalmatians movie. These are very expensive so it's great as a gift and again you can get something from their favourite character or movie. Lounge fly do insane amounts of themed bags so you will definitely be able to find something. The other idea is something again that's more expensive that they wouldn't normally pay for and for me that's something from a Disney park that I can't get to for instance I've not been to Tokyo Disneyland yet but because I'm a fan I keep my feels for what's happening over there next item is from the Tokyo Kawaii Club it's from Tokyo Disney Sea and as soon as I saw it I was just like oh my goodness that 
is amazing. I need that in my life. And it is this Mermaid Lagoon t-shirt. And it's just detailed everywhere. So on this, on this sleeve you've got Tokyo Disney Sea. And then on the back, I mean the colours are everything. And the animation that's been drawn on here is just so cool. And I love things that have Ariel sisters on because you don't really get that very often. So this was pricey. This was like, I think about 40 five pounds with the postage for a t-shirt which you know is not something you want to pay but this to me is like a dream t-shirt if, if you're looking for a more expensive gift something more unique you, you know you're not going to find this in the shop in shop disney in the uk then check out tokyo kawaii club um, because you can get your hands on lots of the merch from the park over there Okay, so we're down to the last section now of um, gifts and I love to include vintage second-hand sort of items in gifts because they're super unique as well. This first idea is a vintage ornament, Christmas ornament. We've got Cinderella here with Jacques and this is just beautiful. And you know, you can't buy these anymore, so you have to buy them second hand. But yeah, just beautiful. So this is one of the Grolier collection ornaments. But I, um, when you look on the likes of eBay, you don't see them in these boxes. You see them in like a white plain box. This is the um, From Grolier Collectible Special Series of First Issue Ornaments. This one actually comes with its little authenticity card. This one's just that little bit more special than the ones that are normally seen in the little white boxes. So yeah, as a Cinderella fan, if I received something like this, which, you know, I'm a sucker for packaging, the box is beautiful, the ornament is stunning. Um, if I got something like this for a present, I would be like crazy overjoyed just love this so much um, and you can pay lots of different prices for these I actually paid 13 pounds for this so that is everything for this Disney Christmas gift guide hope you enjoyed it next week I'm going to be doing a simple and quick Disney decoration ideas so I hope you come back to watch that one thanks for watching and see you next time